Max Allegri back at Juve and been talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. Said Ronaldo is an extraordinary player and an intelligent guy. Uh -huh. I told him that it will be an important season. He will have a completely different and greater responsibility than three years ago. He can't just be a goal scorer. Oh. I expected him to take responsibility as the man he is. I can only imagine the difficulties that have been here over these two years. <laughs> Robbo, a greater responsibility. Mm -hmm. Well, we know what to expect from yeah. Max Allegri. We know that he expects all his players to put a shift in all yeah. across the pitch. Mm. Are we going to be seeing Ronaldo tracking back? What? No, I, th I think it's going a totally different way. I, I, I see Allegri saying, and this is what I thought about Ronaldo last season, yes, he scored goals, but in the very big games and when things weren't going his own way, he started to go out to the left wing, he started to go to the right wing, he started to drop into midfield, and Pirlo wanted him to play up front with Morata and form a combination and be in the box when, when balls were crossed. And too many times he went away from those areas. So I think Max Allegri is actually saying, I want you to be the main centre forward, play alongside another one, whoever it may be up front, and you, every time we cross the ball into the box, you're going to get, get on the end of it. When, we, when we're going from back to front, you're going to hold it up and link up with your other centre forward and bring others into play. You've got to be the main striker. That's what I think Allegri is saying, and that's exactly what I was saying last season, because I thought Ronaldo went away from being a responsible player and went where he wanted to go. And sometimes it was away from the danger area in the big games. There are a few ways you could read that quote. Obviously, mm. that's what Robbo's taken from it there. Because then he ends it by saying he can't imagine what he's been through these last two years. Uh -huh. What did you make of it, guys? The suffering, the frustrations, the lack of chances, lack of creativity, lack of opportunities. And so therefore, Ronaldo, not only are you going to be a goal scorer for us, you're going to have to have more responsibility in what we do in the attack because otherwise we're not going to create much. Now, I don't know how realistic is it for Cristiano Ronaldo at this point in his career to be a creative player and a goal scorer at the same time. He has never been a back-to-goal sort of guy, so I don't, I don't expect that to start now at age 36. And so what do we want from Cristiano Ronaldo? I would suggest, if you're Allegri, and you say to yourself, if I know this guy's going to score 36 goals for me, or whatever the amount is, then how about I take care of the things around him? And so, yes, mm -hmm. I make him the pivotal point of the attack inside the 18-yard box. And then the things that I have to concern myself with is the creativity around him. That was the biggest issue for me in Juventus, is, is that once they got into the attack in half, this team, this team became so very predictable and so very slow. The thing for me, though, is, is in, in, in Allegri's statement, is take more responsibility. And, and I find that kind of vague. As, as, mm -hmm. as take more responsibility to do what? What are you asking of Cristiano Ronaldo now in terms of, in terms of responsibility to the team? To, to, to Robbo's point, are you really saying, I want you to drop into midfield and, 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 and be the kind of creative spark, have that, have that responsibility? Or... It can't just be about goals because he's delivered that for, for, for three years. So that's, that's not in question either. either. So I find, I find that his suggesting that Ronaldo hasn't taken enough responsibility a really odd one. And I, I don't know how, how to interpret because I, I think he has done. I, he was brought to, to deliver goals. He's done that. What else are you asking of him if you, by way of responsibility? I, I, I just don't get it. Robbo, with Max Allegri back and Ronaldo potentially staying, are they favourites for the Scudetto? Uh, yes, they are, because Inter are obviously going to lose a lot of their players. Uh, Milan weren't quite good enough. Napoli, I don't think, are quite good enough. So Juventus have to be the favourites. And I go back to, to what the guys are saying there. Ali was a goal scorer and the centre forward. Where are you going to score goals? Where are you going to be, have major responsibility? Right down the middle, right up front. And that's where Ronaldo has to play. He has to be in the box every time the ball's played in there. He has to be, with, maybe with his back to go in and around the box, turning, getting shots away. That's the responsibility he has to take on his shoulders. Uh, he might not be too responsible for the free kicks if uh, what <laughs> Max Allegri was alluding to in that press conference is Miralem Pjanic returning. He said it's a right-footed player who is good at set pieces. Can you see this happening? Uh, well, I think he, he's always been a good player for Juventus before he left. I think he's a, a, an upgrade on Arta, who didn't really get going last year. Ben Tancur, who played in that position. I don't think that's his... He's not a one that's going to link up the plays, more of a forward runner, so I don't think that suited him. 
Pjanic coming back, I think he could link everything up. He'd be like Pirlo was when he was at Juventus, as, he's, as Pjanic was before. I think it works for Juve. It was already a strange move with him going mm, to yeah. Barcelona and it didn't turn out it, right, did it? And he, he just looked out of place. From the very beginning of Barcelona, it just never seemed to work. And whenever you felt like, OK, this is now the opportunity for him to play, he wasn't very good. And, and we just have to say that. As good as he may have been for Juventus, he was not that for Barcelona. And whether it's a style of play, whether it's a system, a new manager, new setup, whatever the case may have been, Pjanic never settled in. Injuries were a problem. And whenever he was actually healthy and ready to go, and he had opportunities to play because Sergio Busquets was struggling early on in the season, he didn't do the job. He did not carry out his responsibilities. And so therefore, it is not a surprise to me that he may be going elsewhere because simply, you look at Pjanic at Barcelona, it was a bust. It never really worked out. There might be a sigh of relief from him, though, because going to that oh. Barcelona, everything yeah. that was happening there, to know that you'd be going back to Juventus with Max Allegri mm. back at the helm there, got to be attractive uh, for Pjanic. Uh, absolutely. It was an absolute disaster of a year for, for Pjanic, as, as both guys uh, rightly mentioned. Just never seemed to work. And then given a lot of the, of the blame game that was going, a lot, going around in Barcelona for a lot of their failures, Fingers pointed at him because I, for one, thinking Pjanic with his experience, his passing ability, coming and sitting in that midfield for Barcelona, exactly the kind of player that Messi would want to have servicing him. And, and yet Pjanic never, never really got out, got out of the gates. So coming back to a team and a, a league that he knows and flourished in, absolutely, he's happy to put that disaster behind him. Make no mistake about it. For all the issues that Barcelona have on the field, they have a ton more off it. And I think that affected the team. Pjanic probably happy to put both those uh, behind him now. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.